Water and of drift. Out of order. That means. Why uh, hasn't it been fixed? Perhaps there wasn't much demand for it anymore. It's not like there's been a lot of demand for much S around here. O S. Save ourselves. There must have been at least ten in oh there must be at least ten envelopes. You know, it says all worked. of them stamped and addressed but stuck in perpetual limbo. Or, even better, order some hot grub. But we don't know what it's from. How long have they been piling up? I received Mrs. Fretland's letter in June. And they received my letter from July. A couple of months. Perhaps the world forgot about Glovic. Perhaps. To Simon Fra Roof. Simon and Roof were must friends. Be. You know, you're better at finding things than me, Teddy Bear. No? What are you doing? Looking for keys. Your life of crime continues. The keys are all gone. Some thieving thieves beat you to it. Rascals. Just so excited for everything. Is it written in Viking runes? What does it say? It's from Simon. Yai put it means I put. Nurkel is key. Casa. I don't Home? know what that word means. He put the key in the casa? Casa. I wish I had my dictionary. The note's addressed to his father. So the key was moved. But where to? Somewhere safer. Or more convenient. Can we really trust your translations? You only started studying a month ago. I spent the summer reading. And I had a lot of free time on the ocean voyage. Come on, how much could you possibly pick up in a few months? You know what I mean. It's a sponge. Casa. So that's what it means. Cash register. Why'd you put the key in here? You're a genuine gangster now, old fruit. Don't worry. If you get busted, I'll come visit you in the big house. The vandals weren't here for the money. That's for sure. It was the last thing on their minds. Wasn't there supposed to be a key? Yep. There it is. A key. <laughs> Maybe I can look at there. No. Oh, I was thinking a roof might have been damaged. Hey. What does that look for? It is her hat. Teddy, I'm not Betty sure was that's... here. And not long ago. Okay, but if that is her hat, what's it doing in a locked storeroom? Another breadcrumb. That's not an answer. I know for sure she was here. That's what matters. You know best, Edward. So, what does the note say? What now? If this is a breadcrumb, where's the next one? There must be a reason her hat's in this room. Oh, there's a note. Who that? A handwritten note. Not blind. What does it say, you silly goose? It's hard to read. I'm not sure my translation will be. Johan, you. Nectar. Refuse. You refuse to speak to me, so I write this letter instead. It's from Frederick Fretland to his brother. Uh, Simon did not. Bloody hell. Simon did not murder your Ruth. He was fond of his cousin. Ruth? Ruth is the daughter of Anna and Johan, which means the little girl in the photograph at the farmhouse. She's the one that died. The Fretland girl was murdered. This is simply awful. Simon was working at the farm while I tended to the store. I would have seen him had he passed on the way up to the cliffs. They thought Simon killed Ruth. 
His own cousin. Ruth was... What's that word? Playing. Ruth was always playing on the rocks below the church. She must have fallen by accident. The note ends there. Frederick never finished it. And Johann never read it. Not that it would have made a difference. No. Johann thought... The mob showed up for Simon. His father would have tried to protect him. September 17th. You would have been here, Betty. Rocks below the church. Isn't the church right above us? Edward, come look at this. That's the cliff. Right there. The one in the note? I bet you a million clams. Oh, this one. Where? See for yourself. I guess that could be where. Let's check it out. No, listen, wait. He's not waiting. Alice! Betty! Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, did she unlock the door for me? No, she went out the window. Well, at least that's what I'm telling myself she did. At least now this is unlocked. How do you get up there? Teddy, the cliff. I'm standing right below it. What are you doing? This doesn't concern us. A little girl died. We're staying in her home for God's sake. Are you completely without heart? Yeah, we say it kind of concerns us. Right this minute. Whoops, a daisy. All right, Alice, what you got up here? What is this? Where little Ruth died. You're being morbid. And this is a distraction. I'm here for Betty, not because some girl Edward, got herself. You insensitive brute. <sighs> yeah, it's a bit you harsh. A tin woodman, no heart. You know, you've grown cold and mean in that horrid study of yours. With only books and bugs to keep you company for years and years and years. There are other people in this world, you know. It's not all about you. You're going to do this. If not for Ruth, then for us. We're going to figure out what happened to the poor girl. Together. Okay, Alice. Flowers, you know, are all wilted. That's been here a while. Didn't you say it happened over a month ago? You'd think her family would have replaced it with fresh flowers. Oh, wait, that's where she fell from. Is that blood? A girl could have hit her head on that rock. There would have been plenty of blood. Oh, that's awful. I think there's something behind it. Can you move the rock aside? In a minute. You notice the twigs are bent and broken, as if from some great force from above. Oh. Something struck this bush. She must have landed on it when on her way down. That's ghastly, Edward. It's a long fall. It's a very long fall. Crush the girl's skull. Edward Charles Harden. What? Oh, you're hopeless. It's a doll. Why would the family not move the doll? It's a headless doll as well. It must be Ruth's. Where's the head? Maybe the killer also decapitates dolls. Grim. Hold on. This pin. This is old. Very old. It looks like something from the from the Viking era. We are in the land of Vikings. This could be a thousand years old. <laughs> it does not belong on a child's doll. Who cares? Ruth is dead, and you're obsessing about a rusty old pin? Let's go further out. Maybe we'll find more clues. Come on, old sport. It's not far. Can you wait just one minute so that I can catch my... breath? It's weird that Alice seems like the voice of reason a lot of the time. Do you follow the same path, Betty? Or am I just stumbling through darkness? Lissy. Yes? Oh, she's there. You can see clear beyond the edge of the world. 
Right. It is awfully chilly. Uh, one oh, second. teddy bear. <laughs> we need to take you out walking more. Nah. Man, how are you out of breath? So, the girl fell from up here. Was pushed, you mean. Can you see where she fell? Yep. You feel it's dizzy looking down. Certainly high enough to kill a child. If I had to go, this would be the way to do it. Really? Just going through the air like a bird. And landing like a rock. Uh, the stone he notices would uh, be like the likely terminating point of a fall. <laughs> Weird way to save you, but okay. First on that rock, she'd have died instantly. Edward, honestly. You wanted to learn more. This is you learning more. She hit her head and fell into the bush where I found her doll. Happy now, Alice? I'm not. What was uh. she doing up here in the first place? Playing? She was a child. Children play in dangerous places. There must be more to it. Let's find out where this path leads. No, absolutely not. He's already gone. I don't have time for this nonsense. Jeez, she is fast. Betty's still... You're still out there. Lissy, slow down. I can't keep up with you. Who no. knows what's up there? It's not worth the risk of falling and breaking something. Come on, man. Where's your sense of adventure? Are you there? Teddy. Oh, wow. Uh, look away, Lissy. Is this what happened to the villagers? They... They hung them. It's one body. Let's not jump to conclusions. Oh, this is just ghastly. What make? What does that say? God forgive me. Don't suicides go to hell? Yep. Isn't that well, what your father said when Stop. your mother mm, drowned don't. herself? I'm sorry. Do you think this has something to do with Ruth? Maybe she came across the hangman before she died. And it scared her. So she ran no. and... This happened later. You know, there's some consolation in that, I guess. Maybe it's the killer. The guilt ate him up and he offed himself. That's just speculation with no basis in fact. Who was he? One of the Fretlanders? It's not Johan or Frederick. And he's too old to be Simon. There's nothing more to do here. I'm going back. Let the poor soul rest in peace. Does it look like he's resting in peace? Yeah, surely we have to calm down. You're just going to leave him hanging? You're an insensitive brute. I'm here for Betty. This is... It's tragic, but really none of my concern. Oh, Betty, 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 always just Betty. You don't care about anyone else. What if that was me up there? Oh, where'd your arm go? All you do is obsess over a scarf and and a hat and ugh. It's all I have of Betty. Betty, there she is again. Edward, the hanged man, he's someone. No he was. what he did or didn't do, he deserves respect. Would you please just do this one decent deed? If not for me, then for yourself. <sighs> Fine. For your Betty. Well, if it's for Betty. Why don't what you could just walk doing? away? You can't just pull him down by his legs. Try loosening the noose. I can't reach that far. When you find out he's not actually dead. He's just gonna fall though. I'm going to be sick. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Teddy. Edward. I know you can. You've been through much worse. Uh okay. Do it. At 
They didn't just drop the body then. Where are the Fretlands, Edward? It's been two days. If they're not back tonight... They're not coming back. Perhaps they left after their daughter died. Was murdered, you mean? Isn't that what we think happened? But then why'd everyone else leave? Perhaps she fell by accident. So you don't think it was murder? It's difficult to say with any certainty. The boy could have pushed her. You're really not helping. Nah. I'm very Can on the fence. About this tomorrow? I'm sorry. You're exhausted. I buried a corpse today, Alice. I know. I'm sorry. Why don't you sleep in the guest bedroom? The couch is fine. The Fretlands could still come home. All right. Just don't come crying to me if you wake up with a crick in your neck. I'll be up for a while, if you feel like talking. Are not no conversation options? No. I really thought I'd find Betty today. Well, I told you not to get your hopes up, Edward. I mean, we just got here. It's a big place. She could be anywhere. It's just the thought of her alone out there in the dark. She's a tough cookie, your Betty. Tougher than you, teddy bear. <laughs> that she is. What's this? What did you find? Someone tried to burn this. Just like the book. Isn't that odd? It's addressed to Mrs. Fretland. My dearest Anna. It's from her sister, Margaret. Frederick's wife. The, the two brothers married sisters, remember? Yes, and it's adorable. Keep reading. I really shouldn't. Really? How else are we going to figure out what happened? Keep reading. I agree. Keep I reading. Anna, I miss you so very, very much. The baby is due soon, and I wish for our family to reunite before... Uh, da, da, da. It's been seven years since the dreadful incident at the mine. Can we not convince Frederick and Johan to forgive and forget? Uh, I know there are things Frederick has not told me about what they found and why they parted ways. Their grudge is tearing us all apart. Frederick won't even let me speak to half of our neighbors, accusing them of treason. Uh, he's so very angry and full of regrets. It's eating him up. And we... That's where it stops. What? The rest is unreadable. Margaret reached out to her sister. But I guess it didn't work. This was written before Simon was born. But burned recently. Hmm. Oh, Jesus, she scared the crap out of me there. Have we got a fire going, do we? Why can we pick the book up again? I almost forgot putting this aside when I lit the fire. Wasn't there an inscription inside? Yes. Simon. Simon gave that book to Ruth. But who burned it? Johan or Anna, if they believed Simon killed her. But they were friendly, right? Simon and Ruth, before... I imagine so. And we know the sisters were close. I still don't understand why the brothers had a falling out. Whatever drove a wedge between them, it was big. I'm sure we'll find out if we keep digging. Family feud, but looks like it tore an entire village apart. Alright, time for some sleep. Eh? How about looking in the mirror? You do look exhausted. Oh, jeez. I'll tuck you in. I feel restless. You should sleep. 
I'm not sure I can. But yes, uh, I'll try. In a bit. I can't. It won't let me. Come on. feel restless. You should sleep. I'm not sure I can. But yes, uh, I'll try. In a bit. Already. Oh wait, something else. These headlines make more sense now. Johan sells his share, and the caving occurs shortly thereafter, killing three people. Including the younger brother. The investor pulls out, leaving Frederick with the bills. Oh, I feel awful for everyone. Losing a brother? Losing the business? There were no happy endings here. Definitely not. Oh, we can place the hat, that's why. What are you doing? Betty will want these back. <sighs> I don't think it's healthy. Not now, to... please. I'm exhausted. Now we should be able to sleep. Yep. Good night, Alice. Quite the day, huh? I'm ready to pass out. Where will you sleep? Uh, I'll be up for a while. My mind's simply racing. Don't stay She's not place. real, is she? Wake me if you hear the Fretlands arriving. Of course. And I'll keep my eyes open for any ghosts that might want to haunt you in your sleep. There are no... Hush now. Sleep. Mm -hmm. 